everyone and welcome to ISC 2019. So we are showing you today the VR Connect Plus, which has been enhanced with a lot of new features. So one of, one of the nice features is the integration of Zoom and BlueJeans clients for video conferencing. So in fact, from the client application that is installed on my PC or laptop or um, any iPad also, I can select the Zoom client, click on it, it's bringing my mouse directly in the collaboration mode and it's launching the Zoom client. So now I have a Zoom session which I started on my main screen. I can start a video call and uh, invite some people to join. So if I have like my iPhone with the Zoom app already installed, I will just uh, join a meeting and use the code that has been sent to me before. Now I'm doing on the fly, but it can of course be uh, scheduled and then sent to all particip participants ahead of time. And uh, now we are having a video conversation and a session with anyone out of the meeting room. The same for blue jeans, of course. Another feature which has been added to this device is the ability to run the control brain processor onto the VR device. So now you don't need any additional hardware outside of the room to control it. You can just activate the license which is pre-installed on the device and control your room. So design a control panel on your iPad or Android uh, or even just a button panel on the side and you can have some automation added to your room very easily. Another uh, feature I would like to mention is the ability also to run digital signage on this device. So any downtime meeting, now uh, this device is in an open space. We have designed, for example, some open spaces over there. And you know, nobody now is presenting to the screen and we just feel like it's a pity not to take advantage of the screen. So what we can do is in fact uh, disconnect all participants And now we have a digital signage campaign which is running. So think about that. In your room, you have wireless presentation. You also have wired presentation thanks to the HDMI input which is on this box. So I can simply connect any legacy device or any uh, laptop of my visitor or my guest that has no connection to my network and uh, allow him to present also on the same screen. So wireless presentation, wired presentation, control with the brainware pre-installed on the box and also having the blue jeans and the zoom client uh, for a video conferencing and all of that from one single device that you can manage from our VSM via site management solution um, to monitor your devices get feedback uh, is it alive? Is it not alive? Uh, what kind of uh, uh, users are using it? And uh, different kind of reports and analytics that you can uh, explore, exploit. Let me also now show you one last thing about the improvements uh, for the client application. The feature that we have added here is that now uh, we are uh, scanning all the rooms available on the network and we're getting reports of all of them with their availability. So if you have integrated the calendar information from Office 365 or from Google Suite, then you will have information about the availability of the room. So here I want to connect to this uh, display, which is called Gray. I will click on the Join button. It will populate automatically the, the room name and will just have for me to type in the security code. Um, now that I'm logged in and I want to uh, use my extended desktop, uh, there is also the ability here to select if I want to present my uh, main screen or my secondary screen. So let me um, select my secondary screen and click on present. Now what we'll share will be my extended desktop. So whatever I have here, okay, is not shown over there because it's uh, my second display only. I can stop presenting and uh, select back to present my primary display. So now I should see exactly the same screen presented on both uh, devices. Uh, from, the con from the control taskbar here, you also have a shortcut to, to uh, different uh, features of VR. So stop presenting, pause, start the do not disturb, etc. And in the settings, you have the ability also to select which kind of uh, default encoding you want to use for presentation. And uh, you also have the ability now to track the bandwidth 
that uh, is being used during the session. So in case of any drop of connection and you would like to troubleshoot what did happen, you have the ability to uh, get to this tool and uh, extract it after for uh, troubleshooting by the IT managers.